Jag ställer sig fyrar. Bara det är en tillbörd. Jag är tillbörd. Tack tre år halv så är det klart. Jag tycker det är klart. Hvað er það mín? Ég er tilbúin. Ok, gangi vel. Gangi vel. Takk. Sextíu. Sextíu. Sjöttjú Fyrst Fjörtjú tveir. Já, þriðja fíla. Já, takk. Next to you. Tom.
Check you. Thank you, sir. Need your sir. Good job, sir. No scores. Come on. Ah. Hello. Ja, tre fila. <coughs> Hundra eftir á tjóa eitt. Já, við gert. Þutt og tveir. Sextíu. Tutto sex. Tutto sex. Tutto sex. Tutto sex. Nýtt hjá sjö. Fjörtjú fimm. Tón. Two three. What 
Tryptjofen. Úskotið fyrst upp. Það er gæt. Strachota. Do you want to call me? Right, call me back. Call me back. Thank you. Nicho Sachs. The other semi final will be taking place tomorrow. And Matty, yeah, don't think we'll know the last couple of nights. He's going to be. Tom. Throwing his tungsten. Good fellow, I just got out of the way. Off guard connection. He will be 
Mam sierdzić. Tak. Tasty fixture there. That's on tomorrow, but we're going to focus on Tom. Where Hallis has scored a ton there. That leaves him a nice 84. But Bjorn. Well, he went for the ball, but I think that went to Hugo Spells. He has got a shot at the ball. He has. Oh, and he's he a good one. Let's look. But we're just going to confirm that looks like it's 82 in three on the ball there. It is. Brilliant stuff there. And if you think Bjorn is. um. Not likely to beat Halley because we've seen Halley before. You might well be wrong. Halley was telling me the other day, he said he's playing an absolute beginner. He was humming at him. And he's a problem, so he's going to like a little bit of six, maybe. Is it nervous? Is it nervous? Is it nervous? Or a big number one, five, six, something like that. And eventually winning. But there were a few nerves, apparently, according to Halley. So brilliant, brilliant. Bullseye by Bjorn gives him the 3 2 lead. William has put a comment. If you want to comment, by the way, on the Facebook page, on the, uh, the you know, comment on this video on Facebook. They all get popped up in front of me. William has suggested that the commentary is a little bit faint. We will have a look into that. Let's just see where I am. And, uh, faint I am. better William if you are still watching this thing let me know if that's any better or if it's too loud now I've just turned up the game on my mic slightly but there we go and we have Halley has the advantage in this leg Fredrickson and Scott Ramsey, that's going to be taking place tomorrow. The winner of this will be a finalist. And they'll take on the winner of tomorrow's semi-final. If you would like to play what happens in the next week. I'm going to copy the link in the comments of this video. Click on it, register. If you have planned it, do it. Yeah, I've got it done. It helps if you are. You're right, give it a go, why not? I'm going to play at the same time. I'll post that comment very, very shortly. Fifty-eight. One nine for Bjorn, but he might leave it useful. Oh, she just sucks. Uh... Oh, well then, Halley leaves himself top. Should level things up. Remember, it's first to ten, best of nineteen. Double ten. Who's going to three the field? Double. Ah, uh, Francesa. Is that in? I think it is. Great night to start, considering the pressure. Sex you. Three apiece. Bjorn opens up. The three straight singles. Halley follows suit. It's going to be first on a treble here.
Question. Right, so I mentioned uh, the link. First of all, I'm going to listen to myself again. Good job. Just to see how well I'm, uh, I'm sounding, you know. It's always nice to know that you can actually hear me and that it's a pleasant sound. Oh, wow, it's just repeating. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, I can hear myself nice and clear, which is brilliant. Thank you. So I'm going to paste the uh, a link if you'd like to play. Want to play in next week's event. Sign up here. Everyone. Welcome. There you go. Check the comments of this uh this video on Facebook because I have now popped in a little link. Yeah, there we go, it has just shown up. You don't have to be an Icelander. Anyone's welcome. Come on down. Enjoy the arrows. Halley on 264. A ton hit. That's a good dart to leave himself 100. Oh, I think that's just Sal. Is that it? I don't think. I think that's a straight 60. Yeah, it was a straight 60. Not far away from the treble. Really not far away. Check you. Bjorn Brynolfsson here. Would like a ton to leave a similar sort of check out. That would have left the two trebles to the double, whereas Halley's would have been two trebles to the bull. But never mind. You'd rather Check's think you. Halley's probably Check's going to be on a check out first, but is it going to be a pretty one? The answer's not really 144. Ton 40. Uh, a ton. Just sure. Bjorn scores 80 there. That leaves a round ton. If he's back, Halley will be having other ideas. Probably treble 20. Oh, no, treble 18. I think that's in. That leaves 90. Well, he got two treble 18s there. Isn't that remarkable? That is remarkable. Gave it a great effort. Sixty. Couldn't quite see, but it was two trouble nine teams. And Bjorn isn't going to hit a treble, so he leaves a dart at the top. So that brilliant setup by Halley gives him three darts at a double. Do the nasty switch here. And he goes inside those nines to leave nine. Single one leaves eight. Double top here for Bjorn. I'll start double ten. It's the Icelandic double. And it's not there. It's just inside. So Halley given a lifeline. And he pins it first start really well. Considering he split a little bit and went around the numbers there. But straight in with that double four. That gives him the 3-4 lead. It's a close one. The last two games I've commentated on, Matty was pretty dominant. The first one, 10-zip. The second one, I think it was 10-4. This one could be a 10-9 job. That would be exciting, wouldn't it? That would be a bit eventful. And that was a wonderful, wonderful ton 40 there for Halley. Who did break through in the last leg. And only 41 for Bjorn. So Halley could run away with this leg. And it could be 5-3 in the click of a finger. Oh. Now, I've actually got some Halley flights. In my sure. big box of darting wonders. Uh, I haven't, sadly, I've not got the uh, the commentator cam on today, but uh, remind me tomorrow if, uh, well, uh, yeah, I'm on tomorrow, and I'll show you uh, the Halley flight that I've got. Halley not playing with Halley flights today. Now, a little fun factoid, something I didn't know, and you might have to this thing. Hang on, that's really, really obvious. You can buy a flight hole punch. Put a little hole, an oblong-shaped hole in the bottom of your flight, then you can that put a little ring wow. disc protector sort of thingy in that hole and it either stops it makes less robin hoods happen or it stops the darts getting damaged if a robin hood were to happen 
And I've got this Halley flight, and it has been hole punched. And I, for ages, I've wondered, Tom. what is this hole doing? I've no idea. No. I have finally come to realise it does exactly what I've just said. Fun fact. So yes, I've got grenade flights. I've, your tree. I've got Halley flights. I just need Peter flights and Matty flights. Then I've got the whole collection. On you. Halley on 115. He's gone. The balls. Well, I bet you. I think that was in the 24. I think that was a dark missed at double 18. I bet if he hit the bullseye there, he would have gone 15 bull. We've seen Jihan R2 do that sort of thing. I think it was Jihan R2. But anyway, Halley's left double 18 for the second leg in a row. Fist of Pilar. Flight. 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 And he pins it right there. It was double four in the corner. Last leg, double 18 in the corner in this leg. Halley's throwing some impressive stuff. I wouldn't say he had a slow start. Brian Olsen came out very, very quickly out of the traps. But a little daylight now between the two flayer, flayers, players. But it is first to ten. So Halley's halfway there. But there is a long way to go. And treble 20 there, Brian Olsen. That's a nice ton. Good way to settle well, good, back. Well, I think that's a treble 20 from Halley himself. Halley is going through a purple patch. That looks like it's two treble 20s. Halley is doing very little wrong at the moment. Yeah, Brian Olsen certainly not playing badly. Halley has found some form, let me tell you. Tell you. Questions about what we're watching or etc. Drop in the comment. Event starts on. Come on. Shout you. Good. Tom. 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 It does appear that I am now back and ready to go again. 
8 og 4. Here I am live, but I'm a little bit quiet, it would seem. So sorry about that. Just turned up my volume ever so slightly to make it a little louder. Halley, 161, hasn't been able to get that first treble. Well, Halley on 96, that's not in, I don't think. It is in, it was in, and for the third leg running, it left double 18, double nine here. Oh, I think he's got that. Oh, Halley has found some sort of form. And remember, at the beginning, they were there was nothing in it. They were very, very closely matched indeed. It was three all. Was it three all? I think it was three all. That's four legs on the spin now for Halley in pretty quick time as well. Halley is playing some impressive stuff. There is a non-live darts Iceland event called COVID, C-O-V-I-D, Championship of Various International Darters. A lot of decent players play... Um, We've got Ryan Searle, Chris Doby, I think Michael Rastovitz is playing. All sorts of players there. I might have signed up myself, but you'll see how poor I am. Halley has signed up to that tournament. Let me tell you, decent player. Good, good. Really decent player, as you can see here. Certainly not one to be sniffed at. Not one to shrug off. Could he win the whole oh, thing? Shoot. Give him time, give him development, and it is a possibility. But Bjorn's certainly not going to give up. He's shown some promise, has Bjorn. Remember, the winner of this will play in the final. Tomorrow's the oh. other semi-final. Scott Ramsey and Matty Fredrickson. And Halley is hitting trebles for fun. The sort of oh. stuff that I wish I could do. If I played as well as Halley's playing now, I'd be laughing. But that is a treble of his own for Bjorn. Bjorn actually has the lead in this leg. Is that lead going to last? I guess these three darts will tell us. Thank you. Well, Bjorn has got the darts in this one. Really could do with the big treble there. Really could do with a big treble. And no, I, I kind of suggested possibly switching away. I had a terrible line on that treble 19 that maybe going back up to the 20s the 18 or the 17 i like the nineteen seventeen switch i like you don't really need to move your eye line too much After two of him. Hundred then. Ton, ton, ton for Halley. Treble 20. Well, go tops, tops. It's got to go tops, tops here. He has to go tops, tops here. He did. And sometimes, even though you miss, it's not the wrong decision. Because that doesn't look like a particularly good line on the treble 20. So you've got to go top stops. Give yourself the best chance. And look at that. Bjorn has made a treble 20. Halley will be back for 60, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. So single 20, double top. It's not always the easiest in the world. It's often you block yourself. Well, that's all right. That is actually preferable. Give yourself two darts and a double. Pretty good double like that. And Halley has gone out in a double, double finish. And that means he's not going to block himself going up for those 20. I don't think he meant to do 40-20. But that said, I've um, commentated on him before when he has 52 and he goes treble 12. And I said, oh, uh, I think that was an accidental slip. And then he messaged me saying, no, that was intentional. So if you are watching this back, Hallie, you can tell me, was that intentional? But I do like that tops 10s. Is, is a 
good method in as much as you've got a clear path to uninterrupted darts at double 10. And by uninterrupted, I mean if you get a really high one on that single 20, it can be a bit awkward in bed. But anyway, 8-3 now, and it was really looking competitive at the beginning of this one. Is Halley going to run away with this and make it 10-3? Has Bjorn got some fight and some bite in him? If Halley plays like this, I'd say he's a real contender for week one of the shootout. <laughs> Only 20 points in it at the moment, but Halley, the advantage of 20 points less and this throw. Would have, well, like 100 here, that gives him a shot. Well, treble 18, okay, understandable. He hits in, then he leaves a 170, which would be some way to get your ninth leg. But the way he's throwing, you've really got to fancy Halley to be on a finish after these three darts. There we go. Oh, after one dart, he's on one four six, and now he'd be disappointed with anything but a one forty. Well, one three four would have done, but instead we'll settle for the ninety eight. Now is he going to go treble eighteen oh. here? That was good. That's good from Bjorn. That is good from Bjorn. Gets his nose back into this one. One two six is quite a nice little one. Gives you a couple of shots at the nineteens here. He may go treble eighteen here. No, he's gone the nineteens instead. And he'd gone to the 19s because if he hit a single, he'd still get a second shot at the treble. Would have left him double 16. Treble 19 here. Is that in? If it is, he's going bull. I'm not sure it is. It was. It was. And he couldn't find the ball. It looks like he might be in the single 13. It was in the 13. Leaves in 37. We'll be back for 37 if Halley cannot hit one of these three darts. Well, he's hit four. He's hit the 18s and the 4s with some ease. Hasn't managed to do so here. So pressure on the double two. Tom. And he's just gone wide. He won't be impressed with that. But he'd rather go outside than inside. Of course, he'd rather go into the double. But that's a, another analogy. That leaves and double 16. Up. And that leaves yeah. zero. And Brian Olsen. Now closes the gap to four legs. Breaks the throw as well. As Brian Olsen just started his purple patch. Halley oh. went through a great patch there. I don't understand that dart at all. Was so he confident he was going to hit the bullseye? Or was it just a slip? I don't know. And perhaps I never will know. Well, that, that, well, that looked like it was kind of a shot at the bull as well. Maybe if you're watching... You might be able to tell me what's happened there. Oh, it's just one of those things. Who knows? William Scott, thank you for your for messaging. Oh, you have said that when Halley is on it, he's superb. And I would completely agree with that. When he's found his rhythm, when he's found his line, he's in. Uh, if you remember correctly, Halley played the Premier League. Um in last year, last season. This year's Premier League, by the way, summer-ish. Stay tuned. It's going to be really, really good. I can feel it. Women players in the league for the first time. I think there's going to be 12 players in the league as well. And we're going to change the format slightly. It's going to be good. We might do multiple games at the same time and dip in and out. We'll, we'll figure some things out, but it's going to be good. Um, I digress. Halley was unbeaten for the entirety of the league. Until the final. Oh. It's a cruel, cruel format, but Vitor, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure this happened, or I dreamt it, Vitor managed to pull the cat out of the bag in the final and lift the Premier League trophy. But both sure. players played exceptionally well throughout the Premier League. So yes, the, Ice the LDI, Live Darts Iceland Premier League, do stay tuned. It's going to be taking place probably late summer-ish. 
and it's going to be good. It's going to be real good. I'm thoroughly looking forward to it. It's going to be a good watch. And a few changes, some of which major. 204 will be on a finish, even if he's just a ton here. It's a nice one. Well, he went for 104 in the last leg. He goes treble 19s. Is he going to go the same way again? Of course he is. Of course he is. It's a sensible route. You can go 19s in this way, 20s in this way, 18s, 104. Plenty of choices. Well. Well. He's gone the 18s route. Because he was on 108, not 104 last time. I completely take that back. Everything I just said, the star commentator who knows exactly what he's talking about, I take it back. Double eight then to go within Gosh. one leg. Oh, he's bust. Is that a double 11? He's bust with his first dart. Brian Olsen can get two on the spin here. And he's very capable of 113. And even after that one, not anymore. 41 scored. Well, I couldn't quite see. Is that two treble sevens? Not entirely sure there. Halley then, double eight. After the oh. He's bust again. He has bust again <laughs> with his first dart two times back to back. First in double 11, second in single 16. You don't see that very often. I will forgive him because he's had an excellent game so far. But that is a comedy of errors. 44 left. Brian Olsen misses the big number. Four for tops. 12. Sexton left is 32. Halley is back for double eight, and he hasn't bust with the first dart this time. That is some improvement. He's getting further away. He needs to use that first dart, really. Oh, and he's done it. He has done it in brilliant style. First dart was close. Second dart wasn't close. Third dart was in. And just going to get confirmation. There you go. It is now 9-4 in favour of Halley. And Halley looking to win this one. 10-4. Possibly. 10 5, 10 6, 10 7, he, he'll even take 10 9. So that might uh, give him some heart palpitations. He broke throw, so he's now serving for the match. 9 4. Remember, this is the best of 19. First to 10, semi final, one of two. Tomorrow, we've got another semi final. Should be tomorrow, as long as we can confirm both players' availability. Yada, yada, yada. It's going to be Matty and Scott Ramsey. Let me know in the comments, is Halley going to win at this leg? Is it going to be 10-4? But it may well end up 10-4, but it hasn't really been a 10-4 performance. And by performance, I mean, Halley's played well. I'd say Bjorn has also played well. Bjorn has had a good game. And he's taken chances and he's hit tons. But I think Halley had just a little bit too much for Bjorn today. There's certainly an ABBA joke somewhere, a Bjorn again joke somewhere here. Well, maybe he can be Bjorn again if he wins the next six legs. That's, that's too forced, isn't it? Maybe I wasn't designed for a career in stand-up comedy. 25 there. Can he get a treble? He can. It brings him a little bit close. That is a treble. It's a treble 19. A good use of the treble 19 bed. He is kind of in the stone's throw. Of where Halley is, and no treble there from Halley. Only 41. That's a beautiful first start. It's not in the treble, but looks like it's a lovely angle for him to hit that treble. If he can only get 60 here, we'll be disappointed. Well, didn't even get that. That last one swayed. So then, Halley looking to do this in six darts. Done. But there isn't much in it. Only 15 with these, plus these. Lovely, 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 lovely last start there. Really, really good last start. So he has got a check out to win the match. Oh, Brian Olsen. Brian Olsen, brilliant recovery. Really, really good recovery. But he's 
Those two ones have given six darts to Halley for this 140. He might not even need six darts. Need you. We'll need six. Well, we'll need four darts at least. Great use of that treble 18 again. Halley's been really good all over the board. And you know what? I wonder if he would have gone for a 180 there. I would have done. Okay. He'll take a 140 instead. There is pressure. There is pressure. I'm not going to mention the bullseye. <laughs> but I should have done. <laughs> I really should have done. And I'll tell you why he went for the bullseye. What should the do uh, As he uh, hits double 16. Does he? Does he? I think it's him. I hear noises. I think that's him. And I think that's 10 4. It is him. And Halley has done it. He went for the bulls. I missed it. And still checked out on double 16. Brilliant, brilliant stuff there. Very well done to Halley. Uh, I said something about the bullseye. Um, oh, he went for it because what a way to win. And especially when you're nine four up, you know, it's not that massive a risk and it would have looked great. But it is Halley who wins 10 4. Not quite the scoreline it looks because Bjorn did play some decent stuff. But now we know our first finalist of the first IDA shootout event is Hal Grimmer Ayilson. He'll be playing the winner of Scott Ramsey and Matty Fridrickson. That's taking place tomorrow. I've been Robbie Dove. I've enjoyed this and we'll see you tomorrow.